I've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's finally about to happen. Pretty excited. There it is. We just purchased a bunch of stuff from Alibaba.com and this is the first time I've ever done that. So it's a little hair raising to be ordering a bunch of hardware from China. We've seen a sample of a similar product, so we're happy with the quality, I hope. Anything we don't use in the boat will probably just sell on eBay. But I mean, it is expensive as a whole, but the parts themselves were a lot less expensive than we're finding over here. Uh, the push buttons that we were looking at were about 20 bucks a piece and we're getting them for seven or eight. I can't remember, I think it's somewhere in there. So much, much better deal, assuming everything goes well, or it could be a disaster. Keep your fingers crossed. We'll see those in probably about six weeks. Roughly eight weeks later. Did we order Chinese? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, yes. It has arrived, Kelly. It has arrived. It's here. Have a seat, Kelly. I'll tell you a story. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I was a child, if you wanted to order something online. You had online when you were no, a child? No, you didn't. And, you know, if you did order something through a catalog or by mail, mm -hmm. it took six to eight weeks to get here. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. That's what this is like. We ordered these a few months back and it has taken almost, uh, you know, like two full months to get here, but they arrived and they seem to mm -hmm. be what we ordered. Yes. And this is misleading because it's in an Amazon box. We did not order these from Amazon. No, it came from <clears throat> Alibaba. Eastwoo, the company we ordered this through on Alibaba. Because ah. they're like a, a, a thing. This was actually a big risk because it took so long to, to get this stuff. We knew we were going to need lots of these throughout the boat, so we over ordered by a lot. We got a bunch of different things that uh, we thought we might reuse and the rest we were just going to resell on eBay. But it was all predicated on the fact that this was actually high quality, quality stuff that someone <laughs> wants to use, including us. The price was awesome though. We were finding these things online. We will show you what they are, but they're basically the push button latches for boats. We were finding them online for like 20 bucks a piece. Really, the cheapest ones you found looked visibly cheap, like very plasticky. And those were still like 11, 12 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. We got these for about six bucks each. That doesn't include shipping, but that's a hell of a deal. And we got a freebie. Yeah, then he thought we were a boat builder because we ordered so much stuff. So he's like, hey, is there any samples you want? So we ordered a couple of door latches as samples. But I mean, they're freaking full on door latches. So if we can use those in the boat, that'll be awesome. So Kel, let's start with the stuff we got from the good old US of A, which was probably originated in China and someone just marked it up. Okay. That would be this box and your bag. This bag? Yeah, come on. We bought these things from two different sources. One was a marine company. That's where we got these hinges. We wanted just simple square hinges for, um, all the inset cabinetry. These were $5.76 a piece for these hinges. And then we also bought a sample one of these guys, which in all fairness, this is a lot sexier design than the ones we ordered from the Chinese place, but I still like the Chinese one better because the price was a lot less expensive. This guy has a plastic body um, and it really feels like a high quality piece, but it was 1998 for just one of these and we need one, two, three, four, 11, 12. We need 12 of these just in the uh, bedroom, the bath cabin. Right. So that gets expensive quickly. Whereas the ones we bought from China, like I mentioned before, were about six. But we have like 600. We did buy a lot. Yeah. So we got three things when we ordered from East Wu and a bonus thing. The first thing we bought is inexpensive hinges. And this was kind of an add-on item. I asked them if they sold 316 stainless uh, hinges, and there's a bit of a communication gap. These are a cast, supposedly 316, and they are not magnetic reactive. So it's looking like they should be 316. Mm -hmm. uh, stainless steel, and for those of you who don't know, 304 stainless steel is the standard stuff you buy like at Home Depot. 
it is less corrosion resistant than 316. So for the marine environment with all the salt in the air, 316 is the stainless steel you want to use for just about everything. Uh, anyway, they're thick. They've got a nice thickness to them so you could easily like uh, inlay them and they feel like they're high quality all hinges seem a little wonky until you pair them up and actually install them and then they work just fine it seems like a pretty high quality piece of uh, of metal for the dollar 19 that we paid for these guys but uh, they're a little thicker than what we're using now and I didn't want to route out a bunch of squares for things because that always causes a mess so we might use these in the future or we might just sell them online. This is the direct replacement for that other guy that we use. Same basic action, it's just a little bit more clunky. Obviously on the outside, all you'll see is this, and then when you push the button, it'll pop out, unlock the door, and you can pull it open. Um, and then on the inside, you have this little body. Uh, and they have these spacers for different thicknesses. So if you've got like a three quarter inch door, you add a couple spacers. If you have a one inch door, you take off all the spacers. I mean, the action on this thing seems pretty high quality. And the last thing we got was more of like a drawer pull. Same basic idea though. You push the button um, to release it and then you pull the sucker open. This hooks in to that. They seem really well designed. I'm very hopeful that this will all work, but until we actually install them and push them one million times, mm -hmm. we'll never know. And the last bonus thing we received is this. It is a any door thickness door handle with privacy lock. Again, seems relatively high quality. East Woo, for all your handle needs and handling your handleable stuff. Overall, a very good deal, but uh, what do you say we go out and install some of these, Kel? Yeah, let's do it. All right. This is going to be our test panel, but I don't want to uh, experiment on these finished pieces. So we're going to take these down and uh, cut pieces of plywood to the same dimensions. And then we'll use those as the test panels, just in case we make some mistakes. So here are two test doors. I'm gonna run up there and make sure they fit. But then when I get back, we'll make some jigs to install the hinges and see about roughly where we should be installing the uh, push button latches. Look at that, isn't that fancy? This might be the world's most ugliest uh, little template, but it works. All right, let's give this jig a go. You just slide it down over this corner. And then you've got a perfect line-up spot for your hinges. Hinges. Now is the real trick. Making sure all of this is going to work like that. Boom. All the math works out. So the only thing I need to figure out is how far down from the top we need to be to get to the middle of our circle. Then we'll make a jig for that. This jig works on the face of the uh, piece and this one works on the back. It looks like a big cross, but you only mark the ones that go horizontal. like that. And you flip around and mark the other ones. Flipping this over you can see that the middle one will be the big hole for this and the two sides will be the pilot holes for these screws. So now we need to put holes in these with the hole saw and drill a couple of pilot holes. That looks pretty good, but I figured out just now why square is less desirable than round. 
I don't know, my eye is telling me it's just slightly off, which is annoying because if it is, we're talking about a 32nd of an inch off. If that. Oh, the human eye, annoyingly accurate sometimes. Functionally, it seems to be working. Looks like my pre-planning to get this right up to the edge worked out well. Overall, it looks like it's nice and square-ish. I do have one more trick up my sleeve, and for that, I'm gonna need a deck of cards. My mom used to work for Pepsi, so I have a bunch of Pepsi memorabilia. But I don't like Pepsi. I'm a Coke man. Catch the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the big test. Oh, will it go in? Oh no. It's just, it, it's just a touch too thick to where it's hitting the back of it. Right, would you like it up high or would you rather be down and in more? I think down and in more works. It'd be less torque on the door. The reason I brought playing cards is because I want to see how big the gap is at the bottom. We're going to call that six. And that actually works out well. Want to know why? Why? Put two here, two here, two here, mm -hmm. two here, and two here. Huh? And then when we do that, when we put in just a couple of cards at the bottom, that should basically center these doors so it has an equidistant gap at the top and the bottom. Keep up, keep up. And then we'll install all these doors. Sweet. And hopefully with these jigs, it should go easy and consistent. That's what we shoot for. Oh, go team. Hi. Hi. Nice timing. I brought you this. I was going to go do some work on the outboard. <laughs> so check it out. I had four opportunities to dial these in. Mm -hmm. And on the fourth one, I think I, I finally succeeded. You want to come check it out with me mm -hmm. upstairs? Let's do that. So this was the trick. This little piece that keeps the doors from obviously overextending um, was just a bit too thick for this guy. So it couldn't quite fit in that little gap right there. Uh, See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So we're going to utilize these, which they came with. So that makes a lot of sense. But I wanted to make it so it stayed nice and tight because you don't want a little bit of play so this rattles or goes click 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 as the boat rocks back and forth. I think I've got that dialed in. If I put this guy up here and then I push this button, that's the release. But if I sneak this in and I put it right where it's supposed to be, push that, it uh, is nice and tied up against the back. Great. Not that you can see that, you'll just have to take my word for it until I, I install <laughs> And then, like that, you can pull it open. So, I've made the templates for these, and I've made the templates for these, and we're ready to go. So, tomorrow, uh, we'll get up bright and early. You get to pick which ones go where, because I don't want that responsibility. And we'll just do like a little assembly line where we put the hinges on there, put the doors on there. We get one shot to do it right, though, and I really don't want to make a replacement door if I can avoid that. See what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. We'll back this truck up. All right, go for it. <sighs> Don't get stuck. Oh. The only job I have left tonight is to finish my fairing project. And then tomorrow I'm going to make a huge mess of dust again. Again. Because fairing is awesome. Put on fairing sand, put on fairing sand, put on fairing sand. And in between all those, Kelly comes up here and vacuums and wipes things down. Yep, that's what I do. For today's puzzle, my job is to figure out which cabinet doors go to which openings. And they all look like this. They all look exactly the same. There's two panels for each opening, and there are four openings here. Two behind me and two right under you. My job is to figure out which one goes where, and it'll be down to a science. So, wish me luck. Mission accomplished. I got all the doors into their cubbies and have correctly labeled them. Want to see my cool labeling system?
So on the port side here, I have P for port, 1 for cubby 1, and A stands for aft, F stands for 4, and so on and so forth. Let's just hope the tape doesn't come off because then we'll be completely screwed. This is already not going well. I just smudged it with my thumb. Okay, I have all my tools in place. It's time to do a hardware drilling assembly line. Four left sides, four right sides. Everything came out well. So Chris has installed the hardware on these guys, or chicks, and I am up in the boat. I have a fair amount of them here, and I'm going to put them in their appropriate spots and then we're gonna seal this baby we're gonna put them in we're gonna we're gonna install these suckers finally i've been waiting for this day for a long time it's finally about to happen pretty excited success got all the cabinet doors aligned with their appropriate cabinet cubby holes these two pop these two up these two up these ones go right there all right we found a handy, helpful hack on the internet where you take candle wax, just generic, ordinary candle wax, and you line whatever surface, in this case it would be pin over here, the grooves here for the cabinets to be inset on. And that keeps paint from sticking to the other paint so we don't have weird imperfections. So all we're trying to do is get a nice layer of wax in between the two so the paint doesn't stick. And hopefully not a white residue or a residont in our case. <laughs> <laughs> oh Chris. So that feels pretty good. And then you want to do the edges of the uh, doors themselves. Edge work. Let's call that keyword to you. It's edge work? Edge work. Talk about edge work. Is that how that song goes? I guess. You invented it. We're talking about edge work. Edge work! That's what we're concerned about right now! You were in a good mood that day. Look at that door! That's pretty good. Let's install it. Okay, Kelly, they're done. They're done? Come check them out. Okay. Isn't this exciting? This is exciting. It looks great in here. Oh. Can I test it? Yeah, what are you waiting for? Okay. Smooth action. Nice. Oh, that's where I left that. Mmm. Well, that's a wrap, Kelly. Another successful project completed. Hey, you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. Four drawers in seven, seven years ago. You had to go there. You, you were going fiber. there too? Yeah, but I wasn't going to say years. What were you going to say? I was going to say doors ago. Four drawers and seven doors ago. See, it makes sense because we're talking about the hardware here. I see what you're saying. Seven years is how long it's going to take us to refit this <laughs> boat. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's next? All right. The sandwich is just all right. It's been sitting in here for an hour waiting for that gag. <laughs>